Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I'll be going over the 125 and what has been going on with it. So, for the past four weeks, about, uh, I have been dealing with an ammonia spike. And for those of you who don't know what ammonia spike is, it is one of the worst things in the aquarium hobby to happen. Um, I have finally gotten it back down. I, I've settled, I have settled it. It is almost at zero, finally. But, for those of you who, who don't know what uh, goes on with the ammonia spike is when your ammonia spikes, your nitrite spikes as well, and both of those things are deadly to your uh, fish. They're almost like poison. And when that happens, nitrate, which is your good bacteria, uh, which is not harmful unless it gets to a crazy high level, becomes deadly as well. So, what happens is all the, your entire water basically becomes poison. And you gotta, you gotta go out and buy a couple of different things to try and settle it down. What I did was I tried ammonia lock, it didn't work, and it, it basically says it in the name, it locks down your ammonia so it will stop spiking and it'll stop spiking other stuff so you can get, try and get your tank back on track while that's happening and, but sadly that didn't work for me so what I did after that was I went out and bought seed seed is basically a blank bacteria that you can just throw straight in your aquarium and that bacteria grows to match yours but it also makes a uh, if everybody knows the cycle of the aquarium, it makes every it makes it all recycle, but it is still better than having an ammonia or nitrite spike because it adds more good bacteria into your tank. Now what I also did was I went out and got more filtration, as you can see that uh, hang on filter right there. Uh, I actually had another one and I set that one up too, but about two days later, the motor in it broke. So now I, I just gotta throw it away because they're only like 60 bucks and it's cheaper just to buy a new one than trying to fix a, a broken one. Unless you know how to fix it and you probably know what part it is and it's a quick little part you just gotta replace. Otherwise, don't even bother, just throw it away. So, when this happened, and since those past four weeks, a number of fish have died. Both of the Oscars have died. The Red Terror died, the Green Severum, the Raphael Catfish, the Vija Cichlid, or Vija, either way it's a New World Cichlid, died. And that is it luckily for what has died oh sorry there's one more uh, the Jack Dempsey I'm not sure if I said that sorry if I already have uh, that one died and uh, all those fish dying just have really bummed me out since then uh, in all honesty I haven't even wanted to look at this tank but I pushed through and I just kept working and working and working with it trying to find a solution to stop this to get the rest of my fish to live and I think I finally did I just added more seed I got marine pro bio balls which are one of the best is basically the best bio ball you can get I added that to the sump and I uh, like I said I just bought the seed I poured that in and I just waited that's the one problem with uh, an ammonia spike. There's nothing you can do that other than just pouring some chemicals in and maybe adding some more filtration or stuff like that. Otherwise it's all just a waiting game and see what happens. But luckily I think since then uh, 
everything has gone back to somewhat normal. The nitrite is down to zero. The ammonia is almost at zero, or basically is, and the nitrate is is up. And that's what you want to see in a tank because the nitrate is the good part of the bacteria cycle that you want in your tank constantly. So that's it for this update on the 125. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of days I'll make another update on what's been going on and hopefully things have gotten better and maybe I'll, have, I'll even have done a water change since then and gotten the tank looking better too. And I honestly gotta say this, I can't buy any more big fish like that to put in this aquarium because all those guys were very expensive and it, it just sucked that I lost them. Not not because they were expensive, I'm just saying that because to let you know they were, but because some of those I've had for two to three years and I really did love those guys, but you can only do so much. So, because of that, I'm going to be setting up another tank, and I'm going to call that one the Mini Monster. The Mini Monster Tank. What's going to basically be going in there is grow out fish, like a couple Oscars, a small alligator gar, some arowana. Hopefully I can keep these because all the other ones I've ever had have jumped out. So, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. And also, one more thing before I go, just so I don't forget, the uh, schedule for me to post videos will be anywhere from a day after to a week. The only reason being because I have no idea what my schedule is anymore because I lost it my job and now basically everybody keeps having me run around so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and uh, learned a little something from my mistake that I now have hopefully soon corrected so I'll see you guys next time Catch you later.